uh, Vinny pulled me aside the other day. And, you know, he's obviously got word that, uh, you know, you've been selling shit for under the market price. And I guess he's, um, he threatened to make a call on, uh, Speedy. What do you mean, Fred? So, the way he explained it was everybody in the city right now who, uh, manufactures guns are all under, like, you know, I call it an umbrella. Right, they all talk to each other. They all have their set prices, and and Speedy's kind of stepped out of it, right? Selling us at lower prices. Okay. So I think they're all going to turn on him at some point if he doesn't stop. And he threatened to cut off Speedy's hands. And that was about all I got out of him. So he told you this. Uh huh. And what did you say to him? Well, I told him. Uh, you know, I mean, whatever happens to Speedy, we're... Well, I didn't I, say Speedy I'm, directly, but, you know, we're we're going to stand by him no matter what. So. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. If, if he said that shit to me, like, listen, if they go after Speedy, like, I don't know. I don't know if they think, like, we're going to stand there and watch or what. Like, bro, if they go after well, Speedy, that's what, I, that's what I told shooting him. up the whole of CG, like. Well, that's what I told him. Like, did you not get that like, or what? Where, he kept kind of, like, trying to... He kept saying that... Yeah, but your boys don't need to get involved in this. Okay. But then I kept trying to explain to him, like, he's the one that's given us the shit. He's always helped us out when we needed it. So, so they have their little, they have, they have their little umbrella of, like, whatever the fuck they have with all these different people that deal with guns. But we don't have to get involved in our main supplier getting the, his yeah, hands yeah, cut that's, off. How, how, that's, like, he just kind of kept trying to deflect it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it, really. And he, so he basically friends Speedy. Yeah. He said he's got 48 hours to make a decision. Does Speedy Since know this? He, no, I, I haven't been awake, so. I don't know if he's around right now. Well, um, so why, bro, why is he like, this is what's annoying me, right? There's a second person I'm hearing shit from. So, like, I don't know if you heard that what happened to Larry, right? Uh, Larry was, like, dealing with somebody, like, uh, that's close to Vinny. Like, I think one of Vinny's friends. or I don't even know. Like, someone that works with Vinny or some shit. And he was going to help Larry out to, like, make him menus. Make him menus for Lucky Plucker, uh, right? Yeah. He was going to help Larry make menus for Lucky Plucker for free, right? But then Vinny told him not to do it because me and Future's gun prices. So, like, if obviously Vinny has a problem with the gun prices, why does it speak to me or future? Like, why does it speak to me? You know what I mean? Like, why is he going around speaking to everybody, bother people that's causing a problem? Well, I think, um, I don't know. I think he just kind of pulled me aside because I was there at the time, you know? Like, you see me. Fair enough. But I, I told him, you know, I was like, I mean, I can set up a sit down with. Me, you, uh, Vinny, and fucking Speedy. He was like, nah, I don't need to sit down. Nah, fuck all that sit down shit, bro. Listen, I'm not... Like, listen, if he's fucking friendly to cut off Speedy's hand, I would have just told him to fuck off right there, bro. Like, fuck all that. What the fuck? Yeah, but it's a decision that Speedy needs to make. You don't think? I mean, yeah, but like, what do you, how do you think Speedy's gonna react when he hears, like, they're fucking friend in his life? Like, if you think Speedy's gonna be like, oh, yeah. They're I mean, yeah. They're saying they're gonna cut his hands off. Like, what's what's Speedy gonna say? The thing is, like, you, um... I don't know who, uh, Vinny is working with. Okay. So if I started, you know, saying, fuck you, fuck this and that, and then you just go straight after Speedy without... Speedy actually making a decision or a choice, and you know, then yeah. it puts it on me that him getting fucked up. True, true. Wrong. Whereas if I wait it out, let Speedy decide, yeah, maybe he might not react to it, but at least he can kind of plan ahead on it, too. True. Well, I mean, uh, but like, we have to tell Speedy now, that's the main fucking. See what Speedy thinks. Yeah, is he even around? Right, call him.
Um, is he even around on like the weekends as well? I don't know. I mean, if anything, I'll tell cousin when I see him tomorrow. He can tell Speedy, you know. Yeah, he seemed. Um, it'll, be, it'll be nice to speak to fucking Speedy though. Yeah, I don't know. He said Speedy's done this multiple times, and it's like the last time it's gonna happen. Uh, I, you know, I don't know the background on it. Um, I listen. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, if they go off the Speedy, I don't know how you feel, but like, if they go off the Speedy, like, I'm defending the Speedy. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I'll, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go to a full blown out war for Speedy. I'm pretty sure like most of the gang would. What do you be like opposed to? <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Did he say anything else? 